What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another day in Car Mechanic Simulator with me, the Virtual Mechanic. And today's project is my entry to the Discord Bolt Supernova competition. I'm going to try and build my version of my best looking Bolt Supernova. I have done a few bits in the config editor to get this one started off. I've put a V8, oh, V8 supercharged engine in there looking absolutely insane. I've also put a couple of intercoolers at the front to make this one a little faster. And a large intercooler into two side intercoolers connected up. Lovely to a beautiful little air filter sat there looking pretty sweet. We've also played around with the exhaust. Um, you've got the main exhaust pipes coming down into these lovely cat converters. And obviously the drive shaft at a massive angle with the engine at a massive angle. Leading up to some beautiful rear muffler GTR style just to give it that nice sort of look at the rear end. That's what I've gone with. Let's get this one cleaned up, though. We need to get it over to the car wash to start this one off. We're obviously going to be pitting performance parts over this engine. I have done a livery for this as well, so hopefully it will look pretty epic. But let's get it cleaned. Here we are then at the car wash. Time to clean up the Bolt Supernova. We can already see it's pretty blue under there. It's definitely, definitely not staying that color, but it is what it is. It is quite a vibrant blue, though. Quite like it. Let's get the interior cleaned. Get back on the lift and get that beast of a supercharged V8 ripped out, ready to start stripping everything down. First things first, let's check for that oil pan. And you can see it right there. Absolutely massive. So we know we need to drain that one. So let's get the uh, drain underneath there and get this one going. Hardly anything in there at all. Barely even time to comment on it. So let's just jump straight in and start tearing some of this out. Let's start with this beautiful drive shaft. Off you come with the first rusty bolt. There we go. Get you off. And at the other end, let's get you off. Let's jump into this. We need to get that starter off as well. Off you come. And that beast of a gearbox out with lots of, rough, lots of rusty bolts on this one. Come on then. Out you come. Let's work on this. And the last rusty bolt there. Just coming out now nicely. We better take these front exhaust pipes off just to be on the safe side. But now let's get this car on the ground and get that beast of a V8 ripped out. And then we'll start stripping down the engine bay. Out you come. Nice first time. Let's get that put away and let's see what we've got going on in this engine bay. We've already seen a little bit of it. As you can see, we have a few liquids in here and in here. I don't know if there's any liquid in there. A tiny little bit as well. So I need to get them drained first off. Literally had the tiniest sliver in each, so let's start stripping this down. And why won't it let me? It's saying I'm not in the engine bay. That was weird. There we go. It let me drain them all, but it wouldn't let me strip it. Battery, I need to remember to put that one on charge and to grab it back out later. Power steering reservoir, window washer reservoir. Uh, here's the fuse box, so let's get the lid off of that one. Quite a lot of fuses in there, so we need to work on that one later. But let's get underneath these. And let's get these air filters and clips out. And then start tearing all of these little bits down here. The, the intercoolers, the small, the large, and obviously the radiator setup we've got going on in there as well. So let's get you out. Can only get that from under the car. Can only get that from under the car. And let's just get this radiator out. Then I'll get the rest out in just a moment. Out you come. Out you come. We'll check out what I've got going on with the suspension. I've got no central cross member in this one. It isn't missing. It just isn't there at all. Uh, we've got the, let's get this front wheel off, very, very thin front tyres. This is a bit of a drag racing setup, I'm going to be honest. Trying to get myself a bit prepared for the drag racing DLC when it comes out. So we've got front discs, uh, one lower suspension arm with the straight up shocks, which are very compressed to get the front end down as height as I wanted it to. Uh, let's take a look down the rear. Big, massive rear wheels on this one. Obviously, back towards aiming for that drag racing setup. So what have we got down here? The central coil spring rear axle. Uh, single pointing out arms there with all the shock setup. It does look all complete, though, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's grab the fuel pump out while we're here as well. And I'm going to get on and get the rest of the engine bay stripped out, all of this suspension out, and then we'll go and work on that beautiful V8 engine, getting that stripped down to its bare bones and getting it built back up brand new so i'll see you over there in just a moment everything is stripped out of the bolt supernova looking a pretty bare in there now so let's head over and get that v8 supercharged engine stripped before after throwing the battery on charge should i say it is looking in a very 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 sorry state 
So let's start tearing it down. Where do we begin? Belt tensioner. Couldn't see it there underneath all the rust. Off you come. Um, not even the first belt. Where do we go next? Idle roller. Let's give that a bash. Can I take a belt off? There we go. And then the second belt. Ideal. I'll get all of these bits off now. There we go. Right down to the water pump. So let's get the water pump off as well. And then we'll get the alternator and the power steering pump out. One rusty bolt on that one. Thank you. Uh, power steering pump off you come. Nice and easy. Can we get this timing cover off now? Not quite. We need to get the heads off first. Which means we need this throttle off. Out you come. And probably that supercharger as well. No. For your rails and then the supercharger. Out you come. And there we go. Off with the supercharger. And then hopefully we should be able to get into these engine heads. So out with the coil cover. And out with the four ignition coils for each side. One, two, three, four. Off with the engine head cover. Let's get you out. Here we go. Engine head cover off. Either side, we've got dual camshafts. Obviously, all of the spark plugs. And then an exhaust manifold on the side as well. So I'll get the rest of this internal bits off as well as the other side. And then we'll get that front timing cover off. So I'll see you in just a moment. There we go, uh, both engine heads off, all of the manifolds off as well, and the spark plugs out. So let's get this timing cover off. One, two, three, and bolt number four is the rusted one. Out you come. Uh, we should have two belts, and obviously the cam gears. So let's get the belts off you come, off you come, and then we should be able to grip all of these cam gears out in one go. Nice and easy. And then the camshafts, no cam caps on this one, straight into the engine heads. Nice and nice. Supercharger intake manifold and then the engine heads off. Get this done and we'll have a look at the piston layout underneath. Although it's a V8, you've probably all seen it before. We'll still check it out. There's the oil pan off. Let's have a look. So obviously, we got all our clutch set up. And then we've got four either side with three crankshaft bearing caps in there as well. I'm going to get all of this stripped down. Repair what I need to repair. Buy replacements for the performance parts I want to replace. And then we'll get on with getting that beautiful bolt supernova body back together before heading over to the paint shop to check out the beautiful livery I've done for it. I'll see you in just a few moments. That's everything is stripped off. It is now time to sort this body work out. Now, I don't even know where to begin. So let's just get this left headlight out. Is that a grill? No. Windshield out. Uh, what else have we got here? Trunk out. Um, is that it? Is that it? Let's grab the interior because we know that is in there. Out with the front seats and out with that steering wheel. Come on, there we go. Out you come. Um, I think that might be it. Let's just have a double check. 1%, uh, 20% on the interior. Uh, wrong button. No, that is everything completely stripped out there. I've never seen the interior 20%. I normally see it 25 Maybe that means we are missing a bench seat that we are that should be going in there as well. So we'll have to sort that one out, but let's sort the frame of this one out. Now, this one was a dirt, dirt cheap vehicle. Don't know what happened there. It stopped recording for some reason. As I was saying, this is a dirt cheap vehicle. I picked this one up for 6,561, and I already could have profited nearly 2,000 from it, 1,845. So I reckon that even though the frame is in a very, very bad condition, uh, down at 18% there. I still reckon this is going to be 700. 950. Oh, I want far off though. So let's get all this frame sorted out. Then I need to buy some body panels to go back on. Looking pretty lovely. If I just quickly, quickly put that away and go like this. You can see I don't need a front bumper. I have completely removed that one. And I also don't need a rear bumper. I've completely removed that one as well. I have got a few additional parts to go on this one. So I'm going to buy the bits I need. I'll see you back here in a minute. Then we'll head over to the paint shop and check out the livery I've created. Okay, well, I think I've bought everything I need. So let's start throwing it back on the car. I'll come and do the additional parts in it just a moment. There isn't many options for this one. There's no alternative parts. So you just throw together what you've got. And that is what it is. So let's just get it all on and in. Hopefully nice and easy. As I said, no front or rear bumper. I have done the bumper delete on this one. You can see bumper holes in there, but hopefully with the paint colour that we're going with, they won't be as visible a bit later. So we'll find out. Get these on, these on. Nearly finished with the exterior. We'll just go in and throw the interior in. That's the wrong button. Let's come out of that. So let's get out of that and throw this interior in. I have gone for the M3 steering wheel. 
this is a bit of a drag racer and also my favorite of the jaguar f-type seats they do fit i'm just double checking there and i will put the original bench back in i probably should have removed that but i opted against it well cool, they're pretty big but they do just about fit in now we do have some bonus parts to go on if i could press the right buttons there we go so we've got alternating hood scoops on the hood there looking a pretty nice quite happy with them at the top here we've got a roof spoiler just cutting in there looking pretty sweet and then down at the back here we've got a big old wing sticking up through as i said this is a bit of a drag racing at bolt supernova but that is basically it let's just double check we have got everything click into here 100 100 100 absolutely fantastic let's get it over to the paint shop and check out the livery i've got for this one here it is then here's my livery racing number 13 written down the side there with a the flame detail slight bit virtual mechanic drt which stands for drag racing team there we go mostly in a black we've got this dark gray uh, on the spoilers on the stripe down the middle and also on the expanding fenders out the front there this is a mix between the striped livery the racing style livery and then my own variant obviously got some nos badges down the end here I'm really happy with this livery. I think it looks absolutely great. Incorporates my favorite colors, black, red, white, and then this beautiful gray. And I've kept it in a matte finish. As for the engine, we're probably going to go for red engine head covers there uh, with gray coils and probably blacked out a lot of most of the other engine. Not 100% sure yet. I haven't actually played with that, nor I have with uh, the suspension. Probably going to keep it in this gray. Splashes of black, splashes of red, red brake calipers, things like that. But is looking pretty sweet i'm very happy with this let's get it back on the lift i'm going to get all the suspension parts painted and i'll meet you over there in a minute for reassembly very happy with that livery i think it looks great i think i've got everything painted so let's start reassembling gray shocks red springs obviously the black cap is looking quite nice the gray and the red there quite a pleasant combination let's get some of this onto the car some of the non-painted bits are obviously already on there so let's have a look what we got lower suspension arm in the grey, there it is. Hopefully that's pretty body matched. I'm sure it will be. Uh, then we've got the shock absorber very compressed in its grey and red. Looking fantastic there. Along with a red brake caliper because I like red brake calipers. And then I've done a red wheel hub as well uh, just for a bit of fun there. Let's get that sway bar front end link on as well. And that should allow us to put the wheel on, although we're not ready for the wheel to go on yet. That is the front section done. Let's just take a step away and see. Yeah, that grey. That grey is pretty good, actually. I'm quite happy with the colour matching there, along with a couple of splashes of red just to match in. But let's get this rear assembly on. We've got the coil rear drive axle in the grey, looking lovely. Uh, then the spring cap also in the grey with the spring itself in red on top of it. I really like the grey and red colour combination. Uh, then the rear shock, shock absorber, shock absorber, shock absorber is also in grey and along with the control arm there as well. Let's get you in, on you go. And then the leaf plate, I have done that in a bright red. Well, it's a pearl red. All the reds on this are a pearl red because I just love how shiny and nice that pearl red looks. I mean, look at that. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. Let's get on and get up to the brake caliper. So let's just throw all of these bits that can't be painted on, on you go. On you go and on you go with the brake pad. Then we are on the brake caliper in that lovely red, hopefully. Nice contrast of grey and red colours at the back there. Let's just throw this fuel tank in along with the fuel pump while we are here. Nice. And then let's take a look at that. I quite like that. Again, that grey. I really love that grey. And it is quite close to the body match colour. Obviously, it's hard to see at the back because it is just in black. But you can see it on the stripe there going down underneath. That's a pretty close match there for me. I'm happy with that. I need to get on and get the other side finished. And then we'll go in and sort out that engine bay. There is a lot in there this time, so it might take a little while. I'll see you in a bit. There's all the suspension complete in its red and grey with a few splashes, a little bit of black on the cap there. Not by choice. Mostly grey and red there. Really, really liking that. Happy with how it turned out. It's just, it's just enough that you can see that I've put the effort in, but also pretty basic and pretty standard. I quite like that. I've also got the uh, front end coolers in, the two small ones and the large one. But we need to sort out this engine bay. So let's start throwing a few bits in here. And I've just remembered again, I have forgot my battery because I'm an idiot. Anyway, let's get all of these bits in here, including the radiator and the radiator fan housing kit. In you go there. 
Um, what else have we got? That is pretty much it. I need to go and grab the battery. So the fuse box, I have done that in a red. It will look absolutely shiny and fantastic in red. Uh, these air filter bases, I wanted to do them in red, but they just did not accept any color nicely. I regret putting these ones in now, but I have done them in a matte black. And then I have thrown some red clips on both of them just to accentuate a tiny little bit of color on there. I think they look pretty good. I'll get the other one finished, I'll get the battery in, the fuse box finished, then we'll take a quick look at it before we go and build that engine. There we go, and that's everything squeezed into the engine bay. It's quite a compact, tight fit at the front here, but everything's in, it's looking up pretty good. Let's just take a step back, you can see that bright red fuse box just tucked in the corner there in this beautiful grey engine bay with the black air intakes with their red clips on as well, looking fantastic. But we do need to go and get the engine built so let's uh, crack on with that. Let's get this main engine block on. I have done this one in a black, as I normally do, uh, because they don't accept paint very well. So that is what that is. Let's get on. I'm going to get the all the clutch set up, all of the pistons in, all the rod caps and everything like that in. And then I'll meet you back at the top once we are closer to getting a splash more of the colour on this beautiful engine. Here we are then, obviously the block in the black, the oil pan also in black there as well. Let's start getting a few more of these pieces on. On goes the alternator and the power steering pump, which I have done in a pearl red, looking absolutely beautiful. That pearl red is probably my favourite colour at the moment. Engine head is also in that pearl red, but it only paints the inside, as we already know. One of the most disappointing things about the game for me, that is. But there we go. Let's get these camshafts in, all performance parts and the performance exhaust manifold on there as well. Nice, 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 nice. Then we should be able to get the cam gears on. Ideal. And I'll get the spark plugs in. I'll get the other side done and get to the cam gears and then we'll get them timing belts on. So that's the other side completely done as well. Just remembered about my oil filter in the pearl red as well. Looking beautiful. So let's get some of these belts on. And then hopefully we can get that timing cover on as well. There we go. Nicely, nicely. Now that is in the grey colour, the body matched, hopefully body matched grey colour. I think it looks quite nice. It sort of separates the red, the black and the rest of the engine. Speaking of, I'll get all these idle rollers in and then we'll finish off getting the engine heads on and that intake manifold. Just put on the water pump. Not painted. Can't paint this one. I did try, but it doesn't work. So let's get the water pump pulley on and hopefully we can throw some belts on now. No, we cannot because we need the supercharger. So engine head cover is in the grey. See, that is a slightly different colour. That is a lighter grey than that, but it still looks pretty good. So we will leave it as it is. Let's get you in, get some coils in and then we'll see where we are with the coil cover. Ignition coils in you go. Let's get you all on nicely. And then the coil cover itself, if I remember, is in a pearl red. So we've got the red and the grey on the top there with some black underpinning. Let's have a look. This supercharger intake or supercharger intake manifold is in a pearl red. But obviously it is mostly hidden by the rest of the engine. So you can't really see it too much. Let's get this other head on, the coils and the coil cover on as well. All the coils on. Let's get that coil cover on in the red. I think the grey and the red is looking pretty nice. I don't know whether I should try and darken them out just a little bit. We'll see in a minute when we throw it on the engine. Let's get the supercharger in there in its shiny chrome, blended against that matte silver or matte grey there. Looks pretty good. The fuel rails are in a slightly darker grey, more matching to the front uh, timing cover there. Looking pretty sweet. And then the throttle, the performance one, cannot be painted, although it does show up in the paint shop. Let's get the last few bits of these belts on, get this engine finished, and then we'll get it dropped in to the beautiful Bolt Supernova. On with the idle roller, and then the last thing to go on is the belt tensioner with just a splash more red on the front of this engine there. And I'm thinking that looks pretty sweet. Mm, definitely could. I don't know whether to change these greys yet. We'll wait and see how it looks in the engine bay. I'll grab a couple of pictures, we'll get it dropped in, and we'll see what it looks like. All finished, I grabbed my pictures, got all the car ready. Oh, wrong button. Let's grab it off the stand here and let's get it dropped into the Bolt Supernova. I really love how that looks. I'm so pleased with how it turned out. Let's get you dropped in. Put it away. Let's have a look. Ah, that looks pretty awesome. Got the light greys that match the interior of the engine bay there and then the dark grey on the timing cover that's closer to the exterior. That looks pretty cool. Definitely very happy with that. Looking pretty insane. Not much to go now. Let's get the car in the air, get the gearbox drive shaft and starter in 
A few little bits like that. Um, oh, actually, we've also got to get the exhaust in while we're here as well. So, if I can get close enough. There we go. Let's uh, grab this gearbox in, in the black, so it blends in with the rest of the engine. Or the engine block, at least, there. I've got the starter in the red, because why not? We like a little splash of red down here. Let's get this slightly not fitting correctly drive shaft in. Because of the angle of the engine, that is the only reason. On you go there, and on you go there. I'll just show you. It's not too bad. You can just see it's a bit angled off there. And then we'll get all of these exhaust parts in. On you go. Oh, there we go. On you go with the catalytic converters. Uh, then the middle mufflers. In you go. Nicely, nicely. And, oh my god, too far. The exhaust pipe. The exhaust pipe. There we go. And then the rear mufflers. Now, in the non-performance ones, these are black. But in the performance ones... They are only chrome, and I'm still undecided of whether that's how I'm going to keep them. Just the wheels left to go and top up some liquids. So let's just quickly nip this back down and see if that looks too much with the chrome, or do we want to change it to black tips? They are quite big, but I quite like them. They're a bit in your face. So yes, we were going to leave them like that. They look pretty sweet. I'm going to get my wheels all finished off now, get some liquids topped up, and get these windows tinted, and we will be outside. Here we are then, all are finished with the Virtual Mechanic edition of the Bolt Supernova for the Discord competition. If you are on Discord, you will have already seen this over the end of the weekend, I imagine. Uh, maybe Sunday, maybe Monday, I'm not 100% sure. But you will have definitely seen it before today. The final entry date was on the Tuesday, so all the entries are in now. We will be picking a winner, or I will be picking a winner uh tomorrow um will be when we count the votes up and then obviously the official announcement will be on discord on friday and then on uh, my channel on here on the monday where you'll get a lovely place on my pin board inside i'll show you that a little bit later on but let's finish off with what i've done with my bolt supernova so obviously i picked the two hood scoops on it as you can see straight there it is lowered down front and rear with the front and rear bumpers all removed from the lovely little bumper deletes there I've also got this lovely intercooler setup going into the air intakes built into the front there. Looking pretty tasty with that beast of an engine and the red fuse box. Looking insane. As for the front wheels, they are very, very small. They are 18 inches, so they're not actually small like that, but they are only 155 width with a 40 profile on this two-tone white and black rim at the front here, looking pretty snazzy. And then at the rear, they are 16-inch rims, so technically the rims are smaller, uh, but the tyre is a 305 width, absolutely huge for a drag racer, with a 50 profile, so plenty of rubber to burn through on there. They are slicks all the way around, just to keep it glued to the track, because I feel like this one may be a bit fast. We also added the GTR rear um, exhaust system, uh, it was, took me a little while to squeeze that in, and it really shouldn't have. I've added the roof spoiler on here, looking pretty cool. This is available in the Steam Workshop. And a normal wing spoiler up to the back there, looking a pretty sweet. What well, changes I've made to the interior is I've put the F-type seats in. I should have taken this back seat out, but I forgot about it. And the M3 steering wheel, looking a pretty tasty. Very, very happy with this. But let's jump in and see what that beast of the supercharged V8 engine sounds like in here. Let's get us started up. You've already seen the interior. Pretty basic, pretty old school, but I do like it. Bit of a weird grumble on that one. Obviously, we've all heard the Supercharger V8 many a times, but let's give it some gas. Sounds very, very mean at that top end. Well, let's get it on the dyno and see what power this one's got. Here we are then on the dyno with the Virtual Mechanic edition of the Bolt Supernova. How much horsepower have we managed to squeeze out of this V8 supercharged engine today? Let's have a look. 703 is the base horsepower. How much have we added? An additional 822 horsepower, 117%. That is a hell of an increase. That's incredible. I'm impressed. We're bringing our total up to 1,524 horsepower from the Bolt Supernova, the Virtual Mechanic Edition. This was for the Discord competition for my uh, drag racing team ready for when that DLC comes out. Let's see the gearbox tuning setup I've gone for today. This has been an absolute nightmare to try and balance out. I couldn't get it to keep traction. Couldn't get it to keep straight on the track. It was so hard to do. This is the final tuning setup I've gone for today. It looks a little bit all over the shop. Between fifth and sixth gear is an absolute nightmare, but it is running down the track and getting a very decent time. So let's head over to the track and let's see what time we can get out of the Bolt Supernova. 
Here we are then at the speed track with the 1,524 horsepower Bolt Supernova, the Virtual Mechanic Edition, the drag car. Let's go and let's see what speed we can get. Now I know it struggles to get the power down early on and between fifth and sixth gear it really struggles. So let's lay off the gas a bit. There we go, back on it. Hopefully we can keep this straight down towards the end of the track. It does like to veer a little, but look at that speed already. We're already up 450. Coming up towards 500, where are we going to finish up with this one? This is incredible. 543 kilometers an hour from the Bolt Supernova. I'm pretty confident that pits it on the speederboard. I do believe that pits it top 10 on the speederboard. 543. Yeah, that's right. Seventh knocking at the Shelby GT500 down a place. The El Camino Hot Wheels edition down a place and the Delray Custom down into 10th place. Sadly, knocking the Aston Martin Vantage off the speederboard. But now in seventh place, we will have the Virtual Mechanic edition of the Bolt Supernova. So happy with that. Absolutely cool. It's my drag racing variant. Let's get back outside to it. So there we have it then at 543 kilometers an hour. Pits this Bolt Supernova in seventh on the speederboard with all of the different little modifications I've done to it to get it to where it is today. Roof spoiler, trunk spoiler, hood scoops on the front, adding in the intercoolers, the large and small intercoolers with the air intakes as well. Swapping that to a V8 supercharged, uh, angling it back, all the different things like that, adding in the GTR exhaust tailpipes there. Absolutely incredible removing the front and rear bumpers giving it this beautiful drag race team uh, uh livery which i really like all for the competition we will find out who has won uh on discord on friday so that'll be good for that one you don't have time to get any more entries in i'm afraid which is a bit of a shame but let's keep an eye out for who's going to win this one they will end up on the pinboard inside ideal but let's get on to some facts and figures about this one now Obviously, I'm not going to sell this one. This one is definitely sticking around. It is going to swap places with the OG truck. Sadly, you will be going into storage for a little while, my friend. This is going to be swapped out with that, keeping it here ready for when the Drag Racing DLC comes out. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Now we've got a shop truck looking awesome and a drag car to be sponsored by the shop for when that DLC comes out. So yes, seventh in the speederboard, absolutely incredible. Let's jump into some facts and figures about this one. I bought the car for 6,561 and I was over profit. I could have sold it there and made 1,845. Obviously I did not. We spent another 56,262 modifying this car to what it is today, putting all the performance parts in there, painting this one up, getting all these wheels sorted out so they look incredible with the reds at the back. And the whites at the front looking insane. Uh, pitting our total spend at 62,823. But let's jump in. Let's have a look. So this is a 200,000 kilometer car. It's got a lot of miles on it. We picked it up from the auction house. It does have the V8 double overhead cam. A supercharged engine in it now with 1,524 horsepower. That is an increase of 117%. I think that's the most I've ever done. I'm not 100% sure on that. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. But let's see what we could sell this one for. Bearing in mind, I'm not going to sell it. 111,477. If we were to sell it, our profit would be 48,654. Got to make sure I press the right button here because we are not selling this. We are definitely keeping this. We're going to move this one into the car parking. Over you go. Goodbye. And we're going to move this one into that spot where it will stick for a little while longer. Now, at least until the Drag Racing DLC comes out, you are going to sit here looking beautiful. I'm going to keep that hood open so you can see the engine bay because I love that engine bay with all the intercoolers. But that is going to be it for today's video. Let's see what we've got coming up in the next one. Now, on Friday, this will be our 100th video. I didn't know what to do. So this may change still yet. I've asked for some suggestions on Monday's video, but we will see... This is my own version of the Smith and Parker Arizona Kid. The VM edition, as you can see there, it's going to be a bit of a big beefed up off-roader. It does have a V12 engine sat in there looking absolutely incredible. It's going to have big old rims on it, as you can see there, big old wheels. Bit of inspiration from this comes from Matt's Off-Road Recovery YouTube channel. You should check them out. They're pretty cool, pretty fun. Um, I'll put a link in the description for the video for the, when this one comes out. 
Um, if you know anything about them, they like to restore older cars and make them into off-road recovery vehicles. Now, this one obviously won't be a recovery vehicle. Can't put a winch and stuff like that on it. But it is going to be a big beast of an off-road V8. V12, absolute monster. So you'll have to tune in next time to find out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider subscribing so you stay up to date with all the latest videos when they come out. Most of all, though, thank you for watching the content. As always, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.